What's going on guys, Kaivox here and welcome to a new new wands day. Um, we got five wands today, but if you guys follow uh, the, the live stream every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, then you may have heard that I am going to try to uh, create more wands this month. So um, instead of building up a lot and then doing like one video and then it takes forever, um, I made five wands and I'm gonna put out five wands this week and then I'm um, gonna try to put on some more wands, put out some more wands next week and so on. Uh, the goal is to do 20 this month. Um, so I have five, so I'm a quarter of the way there. And, uh, and if I have time, I'll make more. Uh, if I don't, I'll make less. The main goal is to have 20, but also not lose any quality on any of the wands. I think for these five, I think I succeeded in that. Um, they're all pretty different. They're all pretty uh, different from each other and uh, no twin wands this week. So if you guys don't know, uh, patrons always get first dibs. So if you're watching this on Patreon and you wanna pick up one of these, just leave me a message on Patreon and probably also on the Discord. If you're on Patreon, then you should be also on Discord. Um, so just message me on Discord preferably and, um, and let me know, hey, I wanna pick this one up and then also leave a comment in this video on Patreon letting me know, hey, I wanna get that wand just so somebody else, you know, if somebody else wants it as well, they they saw that you put it already asked for it. So let's let's start off with um, probably the weirdest one and the uh, the one that it's not going to be for everybody. It's definitely going to be for uh, a specific type of person. Don't ask me what type of person that is because I don't actually know. Um, it's just a it's a different one. It's a, it's a weird one. The thing that's weird about this one, right, is that it, it is very like almost rugged. It's like dirty looking almost. Um, what I was going for was more of a, um, a bark wood grain type look, um, almost like it's, it just got broken or chopped off or something like that. Um, carved this down here so that it looks like the inner bark. And then we made the, the inner, actually inner bark into a, uh, into a black, uh, a black blade. Um, but if you can see here, there is a little bit of an arc as well, an arch, whatever you want to call it. There's a little bit of a bend here where it kind of dips down and then straightens back out. It's definitely weird. It feels pretty natural in your hand. It's definitely a traditional style with the guard and the blade and the, the pommel handle, um, the correct ratios. So it's definitely just a normal style wand, but um, definitely, like I said, not for everyone. It's one of those wands that it's like, if this one calls out to you, then that's great. But it's definitely not everybody's gonna like this one. Some people are gonna look at this and be like, what, what, it looks so weird. It's so like just ugly. And by ugly, I mean like it's just, it just looks like a piece of wood, hopefully. That's kind of the goal. It was it was supposed to be ugly and kind of look like a piece of wood, right? Um, I think it's a really cool wand. I think it'll look cool on a shelf, you know, wielding it, it will look cool. Just a cool wand, it's just a nice, weird, Originally, I was gonna make this one more of a bend, but then it kind of like just straightened itself out um, and came out like this. And I think it came out pretty good. The way that the, these videos work are uh, the ones, I make the video, the ones go up on the shop at the same time. Um, so if you're watching this, you may wanna go check out the shop, see what ones are still available, um, and then maybe come back and finish the video, or maybe just finish the video. I don't know, do whatever you wanna do. I'm not gonna stop you, um, but if the patrons didn't pick it up yet, then it should still be in the shop. And then next we have a Purple Heart. I haven't worked with Purple Heart in like a while, a minute, like people like to say. Um, it's been more than a minute though. It's been like quite a while. Um, this one, it's uh, it's Purple Heart, but I didn't do any sort of, um, I, I wanted to kind of give it a really natural Purple Heart. Also, depending on the Purple Heart that you get, some are more of a deeper purple and some are more of a like a maroon color, kind of like this one. This one's more of a maroon. Uh, color. I did a little bit of burning on the end. That was about it. And then um, a little bit around the edges because I just wanted to make the uh, the the highlights low lights. Basically, I wanted to make the uh, the higher ends a little bit darker so that they popped out more. Um, there's a nice matte finish on it. Semi gloss. There's a nice semi gloss finish on this. Um, it's actually three cuts here, and then eventually it becomes five, or is it four? Four. Okay. Eventually it becomes four. Um, I think originally I started with five, but then it didn't work out. It didn't flow properly with the bottom. So I had to change it to four. Um, I think this one came out really cool. It's just a nice twist. It's a nice, it's like you went like, yeah. 
with the wand and then just kept it like that. Almost forgot to tell you guys the measurements for these. This one's made out of maple and it's about 13 inches long. This guy's about uh, sh just shy of 14 inches. If you want the actual stats, um, just go over to the to the Etsy page. It's uh, Ender's Wands, if you guys didn't know. All right, and then we have a, um, a pine wand with, uh, with a little bit of copper, copper pine. Um, all right, so can you focus on that please? Thank you. Um, this one has a very unique cut to it. And then also we put some different size tubing in there, uh, copper tubing. Um, so it looks really cool. I think it's I think it's a cool wand. It has like a weird hook thing to it. It doesn't make it like any more comfortable or any may, maybe any worse really. You can hang it on something though. You can, you know, like hang it like that if you want. Um, I definitely think the holes make it look really cool. Then we got one down here as well. Um, so there's two and then three and then the one right here. Um, and it looks, I think it looks sweet. I think it's a cool looking wand. Um, it's a very pretty straight design. Uh, blade is very straight, but then we have this arc arch on the wand uh, handle here. And then the pommel has this weird swoop and then down flat on the side here. And then this is rounded on the inside so that it goes around. I burned the inside of this and then ever so slightly burned the entire wand itself to actually make the uh, the grain pop a little bit more. So that's how I got that effect on that. This guy is about uh, 14, a little bit over 14 and a half inches. All right, now this next one, um, I actually have had this piece of ebony um, for a while and I've just been trying to figure out the, the right way to use it. Um, ebony is super awesome because it's super, super dense. It's um, at least the ones that I get are super dense um, and very expensive. <laughs> but um, but this piece, uh, it's I believe it's about 12 inches. It's almost exactly 12 inches. So it's definitely um, the shortest wand out of this bunch, but it's also the, I'd say it's the classiest wand out of this bunch um, because of the fact that uh, that ebony is, is so dense and, uh, and very, it's very heavy, surprisingly. Even some of these bigger wands um, weigh less than this wand does. It's not like a Noble Collection wand where it's resin and it has a metal core, um, but it's still heavier than a, uh, a normal, let's say pine or something like that. Pine is very, very light compared to this, at least. Uh, maple's light as well. Um, some wands are, are very, very light compared to how this works. But the fact that it's so dense, you can get a really nice finish on it and you can get this this really um, classy look to it. And uh, obviously this is all um, natural in the grain. Uh, it's it's black and white ebony is what they call it. So it has the, the dark, dark brown, dark, very, very dark brown, almost black. Um, and then the, the lighter, uh, the lighter wood. So black and white ebony it should be called like ebony and ivory or something that would make more sense but ivory is actually not okay just forget it but the point of this wand was to be a very classy you know a sophisticated wand i'm sophisticated with this wand at least i am um it's a very classy nice wand i like it it doesn't actually stand i don't believe because i rounded i rounded it off a little bit i didn't want it to be perfectly straight um but it looks really cool. It has a square handle there, a square pommel. I did four facets here, um, and then I did like five or six, I believe, on this side, and then here I just rounded it off. So it's almost like it's slowly getting smoother and rounder as it goes. So it's square, and then also square, but a different angle of the square, and then more facets, and then completely smooth, and then just the whole blade. Um, it was just a fun wand. I think this is a, a very classy wand, a very nice wood. Um, and I think the sophisticated wizard or witch or sorcerer or whatever will enjoy this. And then the last one is made out of canary wood. Um, you guys know I really like canary wood. Um, my favorite type of wood to work with is paduk. Uh, my personal wand is made out of paduk, but um, I don't have any paduk left. Um, so I need to pick some up, <laughs> but uh, so definitely future wands will definitely be made of Paduk at some point. But right now I think I have one small piece and uh, I haven't found the right design for it yet. So 
Uh, this one, lots of, lots of facets going up, kind of a slight spiral of the facets. Um, and then here we have, let's zoom in a little bit. And then here we have um, all of these little carvings all the way around to do a spiral as well. And then we carved out the, the end here to make it kind of look like a little broken and stuff. And then we burned this. This is all actually burned, no paint. Um, and then we did a light burn on the actual blade, very light because I didn't want to bring too much color in there. Um, but the whole point was to kind of separate the handle from the blade, but then we still got a little bit of yellow in there. And then inside the cracks, there also is um, quite a bit of yellow as well. This one is super long, coming in at um, 15 and three quarters, I believe. Uh, almost 16 inches, which is uh, very abnormal for, for wands. And um, you know, some people like longer wands, some people like shorter wands. It really, um, you know, it really all depends on what you're looking for. Your, it doesn't really matter what size you are. It's more of a, the lore, at least, is more of a um, personality thing. How big your personality is, and uh, and there's there's a lot of lore behind wand size. So here you have it, guys. Um, these are the five wands. Like I said, they're all up on the shop, unless the uh, patrons took them. First. If you guys want to join Patreon, there's a link down below also at the end of the video. Um, if you don't, no big deal. Just like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, leave a comment down below letting me know which one was your favorite. So let's move on to a little uh, section of this, which is going to be a little tease for uh, wand review. So we're actually, um, I'm, 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 I'm going to just find a couple of wands and talk about them and show you guys some of your creations. And if you guys want to submit them to newwandsday at gmail.com, um, I will be going over them at some point, probably, unless I skip it for some reason. I'm going to just go back in uh, in my emails and just uh, pick some random wands and then start working my way towards present day. In this video, I'm just going to do a few and then um, I'll do some more in another new wands day, but then also I'll do even more on the uh, new wands day, or wait, wand review, that one. So go check that one out too. All right, so this first one was sent over by uh, Leo, it looks like, and um, it's his first wand that he ever made. It says he wishes that they, they were a little bit shorter. I think it's the same wand, right? I think it's one wand. I think this is all one wand. Um, so he says that he thinks it's a little, it's a little bit, it should be a little bit shorter. Um, it, it looks good. Uh, it's a good start. I, I like the color scheme. Um, what I would do is uh, you just probably need to sand it a little bit. So before you added that black, um, all you needed to do is do a little bit of sanding. Um, that's the only thing that I would I would maybe change about it is, uh, is that. Otherwise, um, nice job. Now this next one, um, I don't actually have a name. I don't have a name for this one. Um, so it's just two wands next to each other. Um, the, the They're pretty good. Um, the, that red one looks really cool. It has some sort of rope or something attached to it. I can't tell by the photo, but um, nice job, Anonymous. All right, now, now we just have like a list here. All right, so um, I'm gonna just show you guys all of these ones. So this first one um, looks very like bone-esque. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, the handle could use use a little bit more uh, thinning down maybe, just, just to make it feel less bulky. Um, this is next one is obviously a uh, Hermione replica. And then we have that same bone one again. I actually, it looks better from this angle. I take back, I retract what I just said. And then um, this one's pretty cool looking. It's just a nice, simple, uh, curved, uh, non-conventional wand. Um, this one's pretty good too. It's a little simple. Um, this next one reminds me of somebody else's submission from before, but I like the design. I like the shape. It's simple, super simple design, but very nice wand itself. Um, it looks really good. The Hermione one is probably your most intricate, best work, I think, out of all of them. Um, yeah, those wands were submitted by uh, by Douglas. And next we have um, Grindelwald sent sent these these two over. Um, and okay, so uh, I'm not a big fan of the big gem thing on the end, but uh, nice job. And then this next one, I'm not a fan of that thing, the the, the snaky thing. Um, but it looks good. You did a nice job. But I just don't like the design itself for me. You know, remember. These are my reviews. I review and I tell you guys what I think. Got it? And now we have um, 
One one submitted from James. It's actually a, a drawing of a. I've thought of a similar design to this. I think I mentioned it before on another video where I was talking, doing a review, and I was talking about somebody else's design. Um, I really like it. So obviously, if you can't tell, it's a snitch with uh, the wings out and kind of wrapped around the handle. And then you have like the wood coming up and kind of holding it there with like vines or roots or whatever. It's a cool design. Um, it would be very hard to make because uh, a snitch is pretty big, uh, the ball. So to have the wood kind of wrap around it would make it a very bulky handle. Um, but it's a cool design. If you can make like a smaller snitch or something, that may be even better. Um, but it's a great design and I know exactly what it's supposed to look like. I get it. Now I'm just wondering about the colors though, because isn't it just gold? Would you want like a like a darker color, like a more black, dark brown, um, or like a purple heart or a red heart? Oh, that would be pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah. That's it, guys. If you guys want to see more reviews, go check out the um, I did. I've done several uh, one review videos in the past, um, so if you want to go check those out, uh, maybe there's a playlist, maybe there isn't. Just type in uh, one review, uh, Kybox, Ender, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope uh, these wands go to some good homes and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. And if you want to submit your thing, remember it's uh, newwands.gmail.com. There's some rules down below. So follow those rules before you submit them because it makes it easier for me when I'm reviewing them if you follow those rules. All right. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye-bye. Uh,